Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Infranodus text network analysis tool to compare different contexts and discourses together so you can see what's similar and what's different between them. For instance, here I imported today's articles from five major newspapers. So using this new feature, I can see that, for instance, Washington Post and The Guardian are writing about the new strain of coronavirus and also Trump. But if I choose New York Times and Financial Times, for instance, I see that they only share the same topics about Omicron strain. So this is how it works, and I'm going to demonstrate how you can do this with your own data. First of all, you need to go to the applications and then use the newspaper import app here. I choose to import the news of the day and simply click visualize. What happens is that Infranodos will now import the titles from the top five newspapers, I think about 20 of them for each, and then visualizes them on the graph. Here we have them uh, as the text snippets, and every text snippet has a tag which corresponds to the newspaper where it was sourced. So for instance, then if I go here and I say, okay, show me only the articles from Washington Post, then I will see the graph of the news that is only for Washington Post. If I go to The Guardian, then I only see the stuff that The Guardian wrote. But sometimes I might be interested, okay, what did they both write about? So if I want to do this, I can use this new feature, which is here, that can also be used to compare different contexts together. I just click this button here, and then it means I'm going to look at the intersection of the filters I choose. So here I already have The Guardian chosen. If I click on The Washington Post, then highlighted, I will see the nodes that uh, both of these newspapers are talking about today. So I see that they're talking about Trump and COVID variant. If I then deselect those, so I click on all statements again and then go and choose Financial Times and New York Times, then I see that they share topics about Omicron and the latest updates. And then if I click on those terms, I will see in which context they actually appear. So here it's talking about global stocks dropping as concerns of an Omicron variant flare up. Okay, another really interesting feature is that I can also see the differences. So for instance, if I want to see what it is that Washington Post is writing about, that, uh, for instance, the garden is missing, then I click on this button, which allows me to see the differences between them, and then I choose the second context, and then I see highlighted the stuff that only are present in the Washington Post, but not in the Guardian. So for instance, I see that they've been writing about uh, the far-right uh, French presidential contender Eric Zemmour, um, and the Guardian is not writing about that. So this is a really interesting way to also discover you know, what are the differences between the sources that you use and uh, what topics are missing from certain discourses. This approach can also be used when you do product reviews. For instance, here I'm going to import now the top 100 reviews for a book that I like. It's called Satin Island. I imported it from Amazon, so I have a CSV file where I have uh, the ratings. Actually, reviews body. So this is the column I'm going to import here. And then I'm going to specify that I will use the rating um, for, for tagging those reviews. Okay, and then I say that I want to save it into a new graph. Click OK. What happens here is that Infranodus will import 100 reviews that the customers wrote for this book and visualize them as a graph. So every word is a node, every co-occurrence is the connection. That's how the algorithm works. Um, also, what can be useful, let's say, if I want to have a little better representation, I can use the settings here and say that I want the label size to be the same as the node size, increase the size a little bit, and also show the labels for smaller nodes. Okay. And as you can see here, I'm going to actually have those ratings as tags added into the graph. So, for instance, if I click on one, I will only see... Uh, the stuff that people wrote when they gave one star to this book. If I click here, I will only see the stuff that people wrote uh, when they gave five stars to this book. You also can actually add sentiment into those categories if you click all, all the statements. 
and then you say show me sentiment then it's going to show you two different categories positive and negative you can also click here only see the negative stuff only see the positive stuff and they will appear here as well as tags you know so you can also select them from here and make the comparison that you need now let's see how we can use the same approach to compare uh, what what people who think negatively about the book are thinking about and how it compares to the people who think positively about the book. So let's just reload the graph because I think it was uploading uh, the rest of the statements. Okay, so here we have the general picture of what people are talking about when they talk about this book. And as you know, when you click on every node, you actually can see the context where it appears. Here's a little helper that also tells us that, so I can also get to the part of the reviews that is talking about those subjects. But okay, in this case, I'm just going to say fine, just uh, let's get rid of the words that seem to be the most typical. So obviously people will write about the book. Um, I also think they will use the name of the author a lot, McCarthy, so we'll delete that. Anthropologist is the main protagonist in the book, so we can also remove that. And let's see what we can do with that. So first of all, I would go into the filter panel and just see, okay, uh, what are the people who are saying bad things about this book are saying? So I will choose one star reviews. And as it's not so many, only 10, only 8%, I can also use this button here. And then I say, okay, also show me uh, the people who gave two stars to the book. So then I see both at the same time. It's like an intersection. They merge together. Here in the analytics panel, I can see in the essence tab what are the main topics. So they say that maybe it's not worth reading. Uh, also something about time, like maybe it's about the time uh, that it takes to read the book or maybe it's the times that the book is writing about. Uh, if we're not sure, we can always click on that, you know, and see in which context it's used. So they say that they just like Every time didn't work for me. Let's see. Time work didn't work. Thing work. They couldn't relate to anything. Let's look at the end question thought. Okay, so these are the questions that it raises, and the person was not interested in that. Okay, now let's say uh, that we want to see what are the people who are saying positive things about the book how it, it's actually similar to the things that, uh, that people say about the book uh, that are also negative. So then I'm going to deselect this and I'm going to go here, show me the intersection. And then I say, show me the five star reviews only and then compare them to the two star reviews and show me what appears in both. And we actually see that the language they use is more or less the same. It's just that the connections are a little bit different. If I really want to see what it is that exists in two-star reviews that is not in five-star reviews, I can select all the statements again, deselect this and go to the differences button here. Then I click, so here it says actually that what's present in the current category that is not present in the other one. So first I will choose uh, the two-star reviews because I want to see what's present there that is not present here. So as this is pressed, then I press 5. Then I see, okay, so people who don't like the book, they're just talking about it not being worth it, that it's not provoking any new thoughts, that maybe also that it's like everything is mixed together and that they're not curious at all about the book. If I wanted to see the other way around, so what exists in 5-star reviews that is not in 2-star reviews, then first I select the 5-star reviews here while this is selected also and then I click two star reviews then you see it's a slightly different picture so people who talk positively about the book uh, they use words like discourse they use words like pattern um, they use also talk about Levi Strauss who's a philosopher so we see that they have a much more intellectual and philosophical references and this can give us an interesting insight about what kind of people like the book and who actually doesn't like it. As you imagine, you can also use it for any kind of commercial application. Like if you have a product and you want to compare 
the reviews for this product. You can also use it on scientific data or organize your own data as a CSV file, import it, give uh, some of the rows uh, some tags, and then you can also do the same. Also, as we have positive negative here, we can also do the same with positive and negative. So what do people who say negative things say that is not in the positive? Actually, they all use the same language. Let's do it the other way around. Positive, negative. Okay, so here it's interesting. People who say positive stuff, uh, they kind of talk about the price, the characters inside the narration. So it seems like they go more in depth. Maybe the people who say the negative stuff, they just didn't finish reading the book because they didn't like it. So as you can see, this kind of approach can give us uh, many different uh, insights into the nature of the discourse we're working with. It allows us to approach it in this kind of comparative way, to analyze the discourse from different perspectives, and also to understand a little bit better uh, not only the overview of what we're studying, but also the different dimensions that it has. Try it out on infranodos.com. Let us know how it works. It's a new feature, so any feedback is very welcome. Thank you.